हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डेट ट्वेल्थ ऑफ मई लीड कोड चैलेंज एंड आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैविंग अ ग्रेट टाइम माय नेम इज संचित डेज आई एम वर्किंग अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर फॉर एट अडोबी एंड टुडे आई प्रेजेंट डे 681 ऑफ डेली लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इन टुडे इज परमिटेशन टू इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल क्वेश्चन ऑन लीड कोड एंड आई ऑल्सो फील द सेम हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन एन एरिया ऑफ इंटेजर्स एंड वी नीड टू रिटर्न ऑल पॉसिबल यूनिक परमिटेशन दैट टू इन एनी ऑर्डर Let's walk through an example. Here, the input nums is given to us one, one, two. So there are three permutations possible, which is one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. And if you kindly look at this output, then none of the sub list is getting repeated here. That means we have to take into consideration that no re repetition of the same sub list occurs more than once. Let's walk through the other example. Here, the elements are one, two, three. and in total there are eight possibilities that could be generated 2 raised to power 3 gives us 8 therefore they have specified us with eight possibilities and none of the element gets repeated as a result of which all of them are unique in nature now comes a concern how are we going to solve this problem up if you carefully look at this question then the question itself gives you the hint that the way to go in all such permutation and combination questions is backtracking how to solve backtracking problems I know some of you might be aware about it some of you won't be so ba all backtracking questions can be solved using a generic template I talked about this template few days back as well when we witnessed combination sum 3 problem in daily read code problem in this month itself so if you are looking for learning this template then this video is for you and once you have learned this template go to this backtracking playlist and choose any question out of this playlist I promise you will be able to solve it some tweak in the code is needed but the answer is definite the same template gets applied to all these backtracking problems it will act as a revision opportunity for you and if you don't trust me don't worry i have an honest opinion from dhananjay kumar who solved combination sum 1 combination sum 2 combination sum 4 using this backtracking template that i showcased in combination sum 3 problem and all he had done is change the code a little bit and that it worked for him this also gave him the confidence to solve any backtracking problem in future now you will say can you please show us how can this backtracking template be applied to today's question the answer is yes so let's get back to that question and let's try and extract the maximum out of it so we want to avoid duplication of each and every sub list that may occur for that what we should use we should use sets for it so as a result of which i have created my answer in form of a set of list so that in case duplicate elements gets added onto it set automatically takes care of it uh, along with this we should also keep track of whether this one was added or this one was added so in order to do do that what have i used i have used a visited array so these are two differentiating factors from the regular uh, backtracking template and this is exactly the same so let's walk through it so this is the answer list that i have created in the end i'll simply cast this set back to my answer list so that's pretty straight forward let's skip it now comes the question how have we written the backtracking algo so it accepts four parameters the nums the input array the set answer uh, that i have created over here the visited array and new array list for the current sub list that i am looking out for let's quickly go and look at that helper method and the first corner case that i have written or the aborting condition that i have written is if my sub list dot size happens to be equal to nums what do i do i simply add my current sub list into the result so this is a standard way of writing the backtracking template and moving ahead i have written a for loop starting from i equals to 0 up till nums dot length and with each iteration i am incrementing the value of i what do i do next i simply go ahead and check if my current index has been visited or not if it is not visited then what do i do i add it to my current list so sub list dot add nums of i then moving ahead what do i do i invoke the backtracking helper method and i pass in result i pass in visited and i pass in sub list also i should be updating visited since i have used it once i am using the ith index therefore i should update visited and once i have done this what should i do i should revert back and i should remove 
द लास्ट एडेड एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द सब लिस्ट सब लिस्ट डॉट साइज माइनस वन सो लेट्स ट्राई दिस अप एंड आई होपफुली इट विल वर्क एक्सेप्टेड लुक्स गुड एंड यस वी आर डन सो इफ यू केयरफुली ऑब्जर्व देन आई हैव फॉलोड द एग्जैक्टली सेम टेम्पलेट एज आई टॉक अबाउट इन कॉम्बिनेशन सम थ्री एंड आई जेनरली होप यू एंजॉयड दिस वीडियो इफ यू डिड प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक्स फॉर व्यूइंग इट हैव अ ग्रेट डे हेड एंड डू चेक दिस वीडियो एंड प्ले लिस्ट आउट इट्स डेफिनेटली गॉन अ गिव यू सम कॉन्फिडेंस फॉर सॉल्विंग द बैक ट्रैकिंग प्रॉब्लम्स थैंक यू